Garnett. Leha landing the more significant blows. That's a pretty good body attack by Jesse James Leha himself. Working the combination, bringing the right hand following the left. Yeah, Garnett almost uh, responded as if to say, yeah, you got me on that one. Good job of boxing by Leha there, getting away from the punches. Garnett really having trouble landing significant shots against Leha. Hey. Here we go. On the ground four, almost yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Garnett taps uh, Jesse James Leha on the back of the head. I don't think he thought that Leha was coming back. Into the corner with Garnett, James Doolin, Carl Doolin, Mike Cunningham working jail. the corner. Okay, let's keep working. What, what round is this? What the ring card? Okay, listen, gentlemen. Garnett calls okay. himself a road we'll warrior. He's right willing to go into a lot of guys' backyards and fight. Right hand left hook. Making and a living. No more. These are guys that keep straight boxing right alive, though. You hear me? They'll go anywhere, okay. they get a call, sure, Relax. I'll be there to okay. fight. I think some guys enjoy uh, taking on the bad can guy role. They, they, they can get motivated the same way uh, the hometown got favorite can. This is right here, hometown cooking. This is hometown cooking. You understand that? All you got to do is choose your jab. What right here? Here we have Jesse James Leha throwing the left jab with the right hand, which is very effective against Garnett. Turn back the, the right the round, Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> that was left over from the weigh-in yesterday. Yeah, the fight's within the fight. <laughs> oh, nice right hand coming right out by Jesse Leha to start the round. Leha looks like he got a good drenching over in his corner prior to the round. Garnett not on his toes in this round. Looking still to box Leha, but flat-footed. Maybe give him some upper body movement. Crouching low. And we suddenly get into a jabbing contest. Jesse James Leha has to utilize his jab more. Open the doors for that right hand that can be very effective against Garnett. Yeah, I can't help but think somebody's getting ready to throw a big bomb here. They just, the way they're, they're just waiting for that one punch. Garnett just off balance there, nothing significant. We're about halfway through round five. See, Garnett's a pretty quick when it comes to dodging punches. He ducked under that right hand nicely. by Jimmy Bredahl, a guy you fought and won your first title from uh, Oscar, which surprises me because Bredahl's not a real powerful puncher. And Garnett got taken out in the first round. However, he said it was one of those deals where he fought over there in Denmark. He said, he, I slipped a couple times and they stopped the fight. <laughs> Once you travel overseas, it's very difficult for, for an American fighter to go out there and, and win a fight. You have to knock your opponent out. And uh, I believe that's what happened with uh, Garnett. Well, certainly uh, Garnett is not a pushover. I mean, he, he has some talent. Uh, he does some things that appear to be careless at times with a lot of his wild punches, but he definitely is not a guy that, uh, that you're going to run over. Well, his, his right is white. His right is 
wide more of the mark most of the time, but that time it landed to the body. But his left is pretty good. His left hook is not bad. And he's got movement skills. He's got the ability to throw some combinations, as he just saw. There's the bell to end round five. This one, remember, is scheduled for 10 in the lightweight ranks. There's Rodney Garnett, 5'6", 131 and a half pounds, 27 years old. Very active. Another one of those fighters who fought in the military, had a lot of amateur experience in the military. Those guys really uh, get a lot of fights, and they do quite well. I uh, was at the uh, U.S. Olympic Festival last week, and uh, some of the champions there were guys who uh, fight in the, uh, in the military, the Armed Forces champions. Oscar, you probably met a, quite a few of those guys on uh, your way up in the amateur ranks. Well, fighters, fighters like that are very dedicated fighters. They train hard. They're always in shape. Good, crafty boxers. And uh, right now you can see Garnett trying to box, trying to uh, use his jab. But uh, Jesse James Leha is a very strong fighter, and he's pressing on the fight to Garnet, which is a uh, causing problems for him. Well, I think it's probably difficult to become spoiled in the military and uh, and just say no when it comes time <laughs> to doing something, right? Garnet was at Fort Hood. I mean, how would you like to be stationed uh, somewhere near some war if you didn't if you didn't train properly? As we start the round, Leha, the aggressor, just basically shuffling forward. The last couple of uh, rounds have been rather quiet in this arena for a Leha crowd here in San Antonio. It's been pretty workmanlike. I think Garnett may have been uh, trying to get a little bit of air that last round, and, and because the punches are coming out a little bit slower. I think they're a little easier for Leha to see because he's certainly uh, getting away from them. Fighting in your hometown, it just creates more pressure on you. Jesse James Leha, of course, has to look very well against his home, you know, with his home crowd here in San Antonio. I mean, it creates problems for him. I mean, he has to go out there and try to knock his opponents out. So he has pressure on him. He has to beat this guy. He has a good fighter against him. And right now he's, good. he's throwing good combinations, yeah, making the body. He's much more purposeful in this round. He's throwing punches with power now in this round. That was a terrific right uppercut that just grazed the front of the face of Garnett. But he's landing some good, strong shots. Garnett looking over to his corner for a little advice in that clinch. And not just a pressure to win, but in this case, to, to knock out. I mean, this crowd wants to see Garnett on the canvas. feel some pressure by knowing that a big money fight could be right down the line for him. He got tagged with a good right and a good left by Garnett there. You know, knowing there's lots of money on the line for him, he wants to look good, not just win, but look spectacular. Good body shots by Leha inside, but he's been tagged a couple times in this round. Action picking up, good round. I believe Jesse James Leha thinks that Garnett is hurt. He's pressing the action. No knockout, he threw him down. He leaned on him from behind. But he's being urged on. He looks out into the crowd. The fans all telling him to go get Garnett. I think Oscar's yeah. right because yeah. Garnett has been trying to grab on. Garnett is running out of gas. He got hit by that right hand. His legs get a little dipsy do there. Leha looking to put on the pressure here and possibly to apply the clincher. Garnett is hurt. He, I mean, he does not look like he's altogether there right now. Coming to the end now of round six. He's got 15 seconds or so to do it in if he's going to do it right here. Bad sensing the predicament here of Garnett and urging Leha on. Good round for Jesse James. Leha comes to an end. So lost his legs at that point. Pressing the action, Jesse James Leha connecting with left hooks. Beautiful job. Well, we're going to have to see if he does have any strength in those legs at all to keep him up because if, if Garnett is still feeling the way he did at the end of the round, I think Leha can put him away early in this round. All right, the bell is sounding, and here we go. 